carbon dioxide is a plant food. It's necessary. Uh, Say that again. Carbon dioxide is what? It's plant food. It's plant food. Yeah. Without it, all plant life and therefore all life that depends so on it. So if we would decrease the use of carbon dioxide, are we not taking away plant food from the atmosphere? Plants use CO2. Therefore, more CO2 is good. It's one of the hardy perennials of climate denialism. Like most generalizations, sooner or later it runs afoul of the real world. I think that some of the biggest manifestations of global climate change comes about through extremes in the hydrological cycle, the droughts and the floods. And the reasons are because the extra heating that is available has to go somewhere. Uh, some of it goes into raising temperature. That increases the water holding capacity of the atmosphere. And we end up with more moisture in the atmosphere and more evaporation. And then once that moisture is in the atmosphere, it has to go somewhere so that when we have a, a weather system developing, a cloud, a thunderstorm, a big extra tropical snowstorm maybe, there's more moisture for it to grab onto and then it rains harder or it snows harder. We get uh, more extremes of uh, flooding as a consequence of that. And at the same time, in the places where it's not raining, things are drying out. And so we end up with droughts that are more extensive or longer lived. The U.S. Global Change Research Program recently released a carefully documented assessment of climate change impacts on agriculture in the United States. Many crops do show a positive response to elevated CO2 but warming often negatively affects growth and yields. Higher carbon dioxide levels generally cause plants to grow larger, but this is not necessarily a benefit because they're often less nutritious. In a warming world, extreme events such as heavy downpours and droughts are likely to reduce crop yields. Weeds, diseases, and insect pests benefit from warming, and weeds also benefit from a higher CO2 level. At the same time, widely used pesticides like Roundup are less effective under higher CO2 concentrations. We're already seeing an increase in the number of the very heaviest, most damaging precipitation events, a trend that is expected to intensify over the course of the century. Severe weather events like those this summer always cause a disproportionate amount of damage. A recent climate study from Stanford University suggests that these severe events will become much more frequent and much sooner than previously thought. Carbon dioxide is a plant food. It's necessary. Uh, Say that again. Carbon dioxide is what? 